D3 is exceptionally important for women, and let me tell you why. D3 is not a vitamin, it is actually a hormone. And it is not routinely checked in your blood work. You need to request that D be checked. The vitamin D is huge for women, for breast health, pelvic health, and your bones. The best type of D3 to take is D3 with K2 because they tell calcium where to go. And as you are losing estrogen, you are losing bone density and your D3 needs to be there. Now, when you get your blood work done, if you are, let's say 40 with your vitamin D, your serum D, that's gonna be fine according to your blood work. It's gonna look green, but it's not okay. That's just not, a, that's enough to like not get rickets. Like that's, that's not like optimal. I want you to be optimal. So like with my women, I'm like, if I can get you to 50, 60, 70. And the other day I had a woman who had a 80, like unheard of. But I can get, if I can get you to 50, 60, 70. Now, my personal journey with low vitamin D is I don't do well with the pill version. I do best with 10,000 um, D3 with K2 and a liquid dropper. Now, I'm getting my D checked every three to six months because I have such poor levels and I have finally found that a more expensive liquid D3 with K2 because it's fat soluble, does best for me. And everybody is different with their vitamin D and how they process it. And so supplementing and then check. So it's like test, don't guess. Um, and I have had to ramp mine up and mine is just slow, but D3, if it's low, you can feel so tired. You can have seasonal affective disorder. And some of my patients who I know are not perimenopause, they'll come in sounding like this and I'll say, have you checked your D lately? And they're like, no. And I'm like, you sound sad and like kind of dark and it's winter time. And have you been outside? No, you haven't. So kudos to you for protecting yourself and knowing yourself and that is very low for your D and it is not optimal and that's why you don't feel so great. Mm -hmm. And B vitamins, you know, I always ask my patients, do you have the MTHFR gene variant? I do as well with a slow COMT gene and I found my B comes up if I take a sublingual flinic acid and it's made all the difference in me. These two things really made a difference, a huge difference. The supplement I take is by Ben Lyons, who wrote the book Dirty Jeans, and I just happened to come across the supplement, but I love his book, Dirty Jeans. If you haven't read that, read it. Also, he had a podcast episode that basically summarizes his book, Dirty Jeans, that I highly recommend.